Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wednesday. It's hump day of Tommy from Catalina on the live cast. Yeah. It's a terrible title. You gotta man. say hump day and have your hand on my shoulder. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. Truth be told, he never actually left. It's almost no. the same day, but same day. as evidenced by the fact that neither of us have changed our shirts. You wouldn't know because it was pointed out earlier that you have a plethora. Yeah, can of we talk blue. about this for a problem? This plethora. is a brand new shirt. Man, I'm a, I'm a fan of plaid. I love it. I wear it today. Kelly had been away for a couple of days. And I go, look, you notice I'm wearing the new shirt. And she goes, I hadn't noticed because it looked like the old one. Stay right there, Max. Allow me, <laughs> allow me to show you. So Kelly went upstairs and she got what apparently are the thir- shirts that she believes are oh similar. Oh, my God. So this wow. is not even close. Okay, that one's... Yeah, like, not even close. Not even close. No, that's a... This one, wait, completely different color pattern. And oh. this one, it's this one on. has, wait, <laughs> this is like the opposite. This is mostly white, and this is mostly blue. I don't know what the... Yeah. yeah look, it's in that shot on the website. <laughs> I don't know what, what the problem is. Uh, you're in the website in that shirt. <laughs> okay, no, I'm in the website in this shirt. One of those shirts. That one. How can you tell? Stop it. They're all the same. Can we all just grow up? All right, but here's what we promised on Monday, and it's now, since it's now Wednesday. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, You got a beautiful piece of tuna here in front of you. Yeah. What are you going to do with this? uh, This is a big eye hook and line harvested from an American flag boat. You know, this is a lower grade piece of fish. Stop for a second. You just said something. You said big eye hook and line from an American boat. One of the things that Tommy says is know where your food comes from. Yeah, it's important. And I think it's important. And when you throw that kind of stuff out, it shows that you do. And we all, look, from time to time, we buy where we buy from. Right. But what, nothing like knowing what's going on, where it came from. You know, there's no such thing as cheap seafood. There's just no such thing. Uh, Good seafood costs money. Yeah. Less expensive seafood, you're going to pay with your health. Oh, so gosh. This is an American harvest long line vessel that fishes between Japan, I mean, uh, Hawaii yeah. and San Diego. Yeah. And when he gets to San Diego, Catalina Offshore buys his whole load. And then he goes fishing, and when he gets to Hawaii, the Hawaiian buys his whole load. So he's coming back and forth. Yeah, we have yeah. several boats that are doing it. So this is a lower grade piece of big eye tuna. Yeah. There's Number one, number two, there's number one plus, number one minus, two plus, two minus, number three. And what we're going to do is we're going to steam this. So you wouldn't consider this sushi grade? No. Let me ask you this question. Will the guy at the supermarket know what is sushi grade and what isn't? Well, let's hope so. I'm going to guess he's not going to. Right. But and I don't want, look, I don't want to diss them. Some will, some are really good, but some have right. no clue. But there's a lot of there's a lot of gut kids out there that are coming up. You know, yeah. look, man, Sam the Butcher's gone. You know what I mean? Sam the Butcher's Don't gone. Don't you wish he could come back though? I yeah, I really do. Because uh, I want kids to learn how to cut fish. I want them to learn how to grade fish. I yeah. want them to be able to get you the best. Even though that this is not a sushi grade quality fish, there are like you could take this top portion here yes. and make poke out of it because yes. it's a nice color. What, what did I use when I made poke down to Catalina that one day? Did you I use, use big eye? You used big eye. Okay. And that, that was the one you served on the potato chips? Yeah, yeah. That was unreal. Yeah, thanks. That was unreal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slice this skin off. Yes, sir. Just like that. Because you don't need that. It's not helpful to anything right now. You don't need that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to... No, just remind people, we're making a tuna salad. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to make a tuna salad i got to ch- actually check the water and make sure that it's not... Okay. It's not so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this into steaks. And you can actually see the different colors of the meat. Wow. See how it's nice and red up here and it yeah, goes yeah, to yeah. brown. So this is a, a lesser grade of tuna. I got gotcha. you. What we would call a, a cooking This is a little grade. piece of the bloodline down here. Yeah, and you just want to trim that off because yeah. it, it is a little gamey. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this into chunks. Okay. Like this. You got a big enough knife? Yeah. Do you well, want something bigger? Because I might have something. No, you know, I got a size matters problem. <laughs> Apparently yeah. you do. Yeah. Right. So... So you're just going to, I've got water steaming, water boiling. Yeah. 
And all we're doing is we're just making up some strips and gonna chunk it up. Well, the smaller pieces are gonna just cook faster. Yeah, that's all. Okay. And if you chunk it up, then you can have a chunky tuna salad. And but you're not suggesting the tuna salad is gonna be pieces this big. Oh yeah. Oh, this big. Yeah, it's gonna be different. Okay. Because when you think tuna salad, everybody thinks of it coming out of the can. And, and, and mushed. Yeah, there's no mayo in this. This is a good, healthy okay. alternative. Okay. And then all we do is... Here we go. Come right over here. We're just going to throw it all in here. Look at that. We're just going to throw it up in there like that. By the way, I don't own a proper steamer, so this is just a colander. I got a little bit more here. I did that the other night. Colander sitting on top of it. Yeah, it's the best thing to do, right? You good here? Do you want to put more in? Yeah, let's put a little more in. Re steam some soup dumplings from mm -hmm. Chinese food. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. Yeah, steaming is a great. By the way, steam ovens have become very, are very in vogue these days. There you go. Go ahead and turn that up. Okay. Put the lid we're, on it, and we're going to we go. let that thing steam and simmer in there. Okay, in the meantime, tell me what you need from me, because I know you need something from me. Uh, love and understanding, but that's, that's not question. happening. Not tonight. Red onions, yes. sliced, uh, not diced. We'll do a red onion, capers, yes. olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, and uh, we're good. That's it. That's it. I like where this is going. Okay, so let me just do this with the red onion. Hold on. It's pretty simple. This table's unreal. It's good, right? Uh, you yeah. know what? I, I spent a lot of time looking for what I wanted and, and I couldn't find it. I thought that I could buy a wood top that was already like fabricated, you, you know, like you buy floor and stuff. Right. But the ones that I found, I was just not happy with. The friend they said, can't you just make it? Because the most of them are like thin pieces of wood all this way. Right. Right? And there's like the dark and the light and the dark and the light. And no, I didn't I want that. Yeah, I don't want that. And I finally said to a guy, can't you do this? He goes, yeah. He goes, instead of having the wood this way, we'll just lay it down. So there's, you can see, one, two, three, four. There's five boards across here. It's just all laid on their side. And what kind of wood is this? It's a Southeast Asian teak. Nice. And I'm, I'm in love with it. It's and good. the day that it came... The guy that installed it and his wife and me and Kelly all took tortillas once it was installed. And I said, let's cut the tortillas. First cuts on the board. And he, and he went like this, like really super gentle. Yeah. And I went, no, no, no. Take the tortilla and go like this. Nice. He goes, what? I go, it's got to be used. That's the point. Yeah, that's the point. Okay, so we're cutting this thin? Or do you want me to have it and then cut it thin? No, we want, we want to cut it. Like this? Yeah, a little thicker. Like, like this? Yeah, right there. Because you're going to use that, and that's going to be flavor, and that's going to be like your salad part. No kidding. Yeah. Thomas? That's going to be really cool. So you have to know, we had, a, we had a dinner here. There was a dozen of us? Yeah. Is that enough? Keep going. There I'm was Portuguese, a, man. I like that there was a There was a dozen of us, and uh, it, was a, it was a Godfather dinner. We had the script of The Godfather printed out for everybody, yep. and we did a table reading. That was fun. But in addition to the, the reading, everybody brought Italian food. Yeah. And there was a lot of food, and this salad that we're making right now, I'm telling you, people were just freaking crazy for. This salad is actually <clears throat> on the Italian fishing boats. This is always in the refrigerator because when you're working on a fishing boat, sometimes you don't have time to sit at, in the galley and eat. You can go three, four days. Come look, come look. Everybody come look. Here's where we are. It's been, what, two minutes? A little more. Yeah. Oh, my Whoa. God. Yeah, so you can look see. At, so you can see inside still a little bit, but not much. So I would say another minute or so, right. and you this can, is done. You can break it up a little bit if you want, and it'll cook uh -oh, faster. Uh -oh, I didn't mean to do Save that. Save that one. Little Piggy wants back in the bath. <laughs> Okay, like this? Yeah, that's perfect. Wow. Okay. We're good. And so when we were, when we were out fishing, because we'd be gone for months at a time, yeah. this was always in the refrigerator, and there was always bread. And so you would go by and cut a piece of French bread off, hollow it out. Shut and up. And you would just stuff jam that. a bunch. This, why didn't I do that? Now I'm pissed off that. You would stuff. Well, I can't give you everything, because then you won't invite me back. <sighs> okay, so you need red wine vinegar. Red wine vinegar, olive oil. 
Okay. Uh, ex extra virgin? Sure. Yeah. And uh, capers? salt, pepper, capers. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. And it's going to be fun and exciting. You want a bowl? Yes? Yes. Let's give you a big bowl because we want it to cool a bit. I mean, why don't we do this? Is it almost there? Pretty much. Pretty soon. Okay, let's do this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop this. We're going to let it just start to cool a little bit. We're going to take a quick break, but not before we tell you. Our website has been made solely through squarespace.com. Check them out online. You'll be amazed at what you can do. You can be building your own professional website for as little as $8 a month, and you can look like me wearing the same damn plaid shirt all the time. So sorry I'm wearing this shirt today. It's awesome. Squarespace makes it easy. It's drag, it's drop, it's lovely. You'll like them like we love them. Squarespace.com. When you check out, put my name, Sam, in that little box. You get 10% off your order. It'll all be fantastic. And then you have an amazing website. Let's put it this way. If you've not redone anything to your website in the last two years, you're out of date. And you know you're out of date. You're just not admitting it. Like you might have a couple extra pounds on you, like some people I know, and you're not admitting it out loud. You know you need to get there. So just do it. And it's inexpensive and it's outstanding. We'll come back in a second. This ridiculously simple salad is going together and you're gonna love it. See ya. If you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that Perch sponsors us. The Perch.com on the internet, kitchen, bath, outdoor, amazing. It, it, look, it's this simple. You walk into one of their stores, you go, oh, I need a sink. You walk into one of their stores, you're like, Oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You think I'm making this stuff up because you're a sponsor of the show. Oh no, I'm not making it up. It is the way it happens. You'll be blown away. Go to theperch.com, check them out on Facebook. You'll love them like we love them. It's an amazing store. Amazing store. Okay, so here, here's the tune. Steamed. Chunky steamed. You don't see that coming out of a can. No, you don't. Like no. that. Look, I'll admit, it's not that attractive right now. But I just had a little piece of it. Plain by itself, wow, and it's only about to get better. Yeah. So it goes in here. Yeah, dump it in there. Now, it, here's what I said. I said, look, ideally, you know, I mean, you don't want this cold. You're probably not eating this hot. Right. But um, the beautiful part is the fact that it's warm. It's going to pull in the flavors of the olive oil, of the vinegar, all that mm -hmm. stuff. So let's get start the flavoring right now. Get you it, tell me how much. Dump it. Get it in there. More the better. Love Remember, you're making a nice salad. Good? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, a uh, good extra virgin olive oil. Now, uh, not nearly as much of the red wine vinegar. Well, it all depends on where you're from and how much you like it. Keep going. Really? Yeah, because you can always neutralize it with more olive oil. Good? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, look at all the red onion. Do you want me to cut all this much? you want all this in? Yeah, get it in there. Break it up. Get it I'm in there. It up. We're making a salad. Oh, I'm so excited. You should be. But, <laughs> do you hear the sneezes? Yeah. Kelly's over there oh. sneezing. Sneezes. I'm a red onion fan, but this is starting to look a little excessive no, to me, I'll be fine. honest. Yeah. You can even throw chopped olives in here Ooh. if oh, you yes. wanted to, you know, and you oh, can spruce it up some. a little okay, bit. Okay, so let's go. So hey. drain that because well, hold on. You get the salty liquor. You might want to cut the child proof label no, off of that thing. I don't want to. I just want to okay. be a man about it. Be a man. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back, 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 back. How, many, how much do you want? Oh, you put capers, man. Capers are great. You know, capers are the bud of a flower. Any particular flower? I can't remember the name of it. That's all I remember. It's the bud of a flower. That's good, right there. I want one more. I'll give it one more. Okay, <laughs> now what else? Salt and pepper. Now salt and pepper. Yep. Do you want olives? Because I got it. Well, you know, it all depends. You, you can do olives, you can do... Okay, you tell me salt. I think you're gonna need a decent amount of salt. Yeah, you need a little bit of salt. That sound that. good? Yeah, a little bit more, keep going. One more. Keep going, yeah, bam. What's that, there it is. There we go. Okay, pepper? Yeah. Here, let me give you this, and then you can start doing your thing here. Okay. I'll give you that. And if we didn't say, if I haven't said it 2,000 times before, fresh ground pepper, is no comparison to what you get out of the, the little shape thing. Right. 
This is where it's all about. That This is what it's all about. I mean. And so then all you do is you just stir it up. I wish I had some parsley. Yeah, I, you I could, would like some parsley in that. You're going to go for the olives? Is that what you're going to do? I'm looking to see where the hell the olives are. Pretty certain I have olives. So you can break it up a little bit, you know, and get in there and make I've got, it. I've got uh, pitted kalamatas. How do you feel about that? I can't even spell that. What is that? The Greek olives. Oh, Greek. How do you, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, a little competition, the Portuguese and the Greek? Well, you know. Do you want olives saying. in there, yes or no? Yeah, olives are good. Got to go there with the Portuguese thing. So you can see that it's uh, starting to look pretty decent here, actually. I'm, Oh no, I think it's starting to look pretty amazing. There you go. So just let me... Wow, look at that knife. That's not a knife, that's a knife. Wow. That thing's kind of scary. Well, no. What is that? This is a knife I bought in Hong Kong that I love. It was cheap. Just a big ass knife. Yeah, there you go. That's right. perfect. Yeah, throw a bunch of that in there. Here's why I like it. It picks up. Look at that. It picks up every. I'm telling you, a little green would be amazing in that. And I, I don't have any. What I about think some uh, Italian parsley or something would be? I got green onion. Do you want that? Go ahead. Throw it in there. You get a little bit of green going in there. Wow. You mix it up. You know, so much for my great grandmother's original oh, recipe. Stop oh, it! Yeah. <laughs> no, stop it! That is not what you mean, is it? No, not anymore. Okay. Watch what you're doing. Beautiful. Here we go. So this is a great alternative because there's no mayo. Ah, that's right. Well, the thing that it needs when there's no mayo is the olive oil. Yeah. You need the moisture, right? Yeah, you, you definitely so want to So you're going to taste that. this, and we're going to decide if we want more olive oil. Then we'll just get in there. Oh, marona me. Tell me, how do you say, holy crap, this is going to be amazing in Portuguese? I have no idea. <laughs> But we can get some forks and see what happens. There we go. There you go, dude. All so right. it's pretty simple, right? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, no, I remember this. Are you not having any? I'm waiting for you. Don't wait for me. Well, I want to see if it goes right through you. If it's, a big bowl. it's a big bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's a big bite right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The richness of that, please. Please. How about that, huh? How about that? Mm hmm. Wait. Yeah. Salt and pepper. So you can get a pound of that tuna, lower grade tuna, for like anywhere from five to eight dollars a pound. So what do people ask for? You just ask for, hey, do you, you have go, any, Give me a lower grade tuna? Give me a cooking grade tuna. Here. Okay, Can it, just let me say, whether they come to you or whether they go to another, a fishmonger, go where the people really know. Yeah, I mean, there's great... I'm not taking anything away from a supermarket. I'm just saying, look, this is all you do. You only do fish. Right. Do you sell toilet paper? No. Can you get Rice Krispies on aisle seven? No, but we have Do you some. even have an aisle seven? No. <laughs> no, you don't. <clears throat> but if you're going to buy fish from the supermarket, yeah. the big Ralph's Vaughn's, whatever, go and talk to the butcher and go, yeah. hey, when does your fish come in? Yeah, yeah. And plan your shopping around that. Yeah, that's a good plan. And ask the butcher. The butchers know. The butchers know, right? Yeah. And there's some great seafood markets in and around our neighborhood, North County and south of there. You know what this needs? Some French bread hollowed out to have it jammed in, <laughs> stuff in my pocket and go fish. Mom! <laughs> All right. It's been Tommy on the live cast week. And it's not ending. He's back here again on Friday. Friday. But it's my turn to cook. Yeah. And I'm making something I've never made in my whole life. Ever. Huh. I can't wait. Thanks for being here. 
uh, check out our sponsors, Perch, Squarespace. We all of, we love them. You'll love them too. Support them because they support us. It's the right thing to do. All right, and make this because damn, that is no tuna salad you've ever had. Nope. See you Friday for what I get to make. See ya.